My name is Xavier and welcome to the crushing, the killing and the destroying of the Everheim Rebellion. Uh, you also forgive me a little bit here. I am check or trying out a new keybind system where I'm using my officers and leaving them at the back. Or at the back here, not in a group, so I might be a little disoriented. I've used the same keybinding system for like ages of empires. Uh, literally going all the way back to like 2001 or whatever the heck Rome came out. So I may be slightly disoriented as I switch it up here, but I figured, you know, I think in the long term it's going to be better off. Anyway, I'm bringing everybody in here as you guys can see. I got my zombies charging up out there. I got my blood knights way the heck out back here. We're going to go for a flank on them guys. I'm going to get all of my bats who are just hanging out here. We're going to go for the archers on this side. I got reinforcement bats coming in from this side. We are just going to get right the heck in the middle of these guys and crush them from every single direction. Speaking of crushing them from every direction, where's my awesome, awesome, awesome spells? Here we go, Spirit Leech from Bez. Spirit Leech on who is this? Curtis Helen this rat. I actually want to see what this looks like. Go for it, Bez. Cast the Spirit Leech. Quickly. Quickly, I need to go command the battle. Bez, quickly. Was that it? Is that really the whole graphic of the spell? <laughs> I was freaking stupidly late. All right, all three of you guys get in here. I really need to command a few things here. I'm, I'm flanking from multiple directions. The bats are indeed chasing these guys down. I want to get my hounds on the Forder key, get them chasing down the pistol leaders. How are my Vardakais doing? They are just crushing everything out here. They don't even need to be asked that question. I set them in after a mortar. The mortar it's, isn't even on the map anymore. Uh, my zombies were coming out here to do flanking support. That's exactly what they're doing. Everybody else is coming in. This looks like an absolute ridiculous slaughter. Let's get one of these Varakais to come in here from behind just for flanking support. One of these bats to do the same thing. One of you bats chase down one of them. Great. You guys come in for more flank support. More flank support over here. Great. This is looking really good. Now it's time for fun time with spells, friends. Fun time with spells. What do we want to use? Ellis. Ooh. The penultimate undulum. I'm sure that's the word for this, right? Oh, here we go. Let's see it. Let's see it. Whoa. Oh, my FPS, though. That is beautiful. Let's get uh, Vlad. You know what? Let's get all three, Ellis, Bez, and Vlad on Curtis over here. Meanwhile, can we have any more spirit leeches? Yes, we do. Let's cast one up. Fantastic. How's everyone doing? Uh, number six now is my new Varkai's keybind. They're doing fine. Let's get them flanking in over here. Let's also grab all the bats, get them in. All the reinforcement garrison units just charge right the heck in the middle. Yeah, these guys are just stupid little doofers. I will say, my dogs have nothing to do. Charge them in. Oh, actually, they do over here. One of their uh, archers actually regrouped and is coming out. All right, we can take that. We'll just charge right on through them. Hey, little dogs, get over here. Give me something cool to look at. Oh, these things look so cool. You can see all their ribs. Look at this guy. He looks like Irish or something. He's about to get mauled by like a stomachless war hound with blue eyes. And yes, indeed, that is exactly what happened. Anyway, back to the battle. Well, never mind the bat. All right. At the end of the last episode, I was like, okay, I may have made a grave mistake spawning all these rebellions. Uh, that was... Who is that guy that just died? Why are you interrupting my, like, thoughts, guy? It's ridiculous. How many guys did I just lose? Like, eight? I mean, I cannot believe. That was just free experience right there. Like, literally free experience. Uh, if at all possible, I want to actually just get the Varkais to come in here and finish up. Varkais, hounds, bats, anyone who's kind of fast. All the hounds, four. Uh, and let me talk about this briefly while I turn it on fast motion. So my thinking here is I'm going to start using my number one keybind, which used to always be my commander. That's now going to be my first infantry line. Number two will be like the flanking infantry line. Three will be like uh, cav units. Four will be like also hounds and support. And then five and six are bats and varkais. The reason I'm doing this is because I actually have to go all the way up to like six. And it's kind of, I only have one through six with my ergonomic keyboard. Uh, so I was having a difficulty in the last couple of episodes selecting my Varkais to, to do stuff. And also, there's just so many different kinds of units I'm going to use in this campaign. Oh my god. Oh my god, I said it again. This poor guy, Curtis, is just getting absolutely obliterated down there. Uh, is he dead? Uh, almost. But yeah, in time, it'll take me a little time to adjust to this, but in time I think it'll end up being a hell of a lot better. So I'm just going to be a doofer for a couple episodes and we'll get right back to it. I just want to make sure Curtis is 100% dead in case for some reason there's an issue here. Come on, Curtis. Just bite the proverbial bucket, friend. Like, what are you, what are you really thinking here? Can we get Ellis in here to cast, like, a, another spirit leech? Oh, never mind. He's dead. Battle over. All right, well, that's one rebellion, and now we've got another one. All right, what's the results here? Um, not very good. 
Our, our Blood Knight's got 100 kills. Hound's got 40 and 90. Wow, Direwolf's doing pretty freaking good. Varakai, 60, 50, 70. My Hound's actually did pretty good here. I like that a lot. All right. And then what do my bats do? 20, 30, 10, 14. Not many kills all around, but you know what? Bunch of doofers. Now, what do you want to do with these uh, infidels? I do want some money. Uh, I don't care about returning captives, murder captives. I don't really care about leadership right now. I don't care about 2% replenishment. We're basically at like 100%. Uh, let's go for the 860 dark magic. All right. Did we not actually kill their lord? Because I... Yeah, we did. We did kill him. Great. Uh, how's... Did they get a new one? No, they don't have one. They're just due for rebels. Let's get over there, Vlad. Take this guy down. Yep. Automate. Bam. God, those mortars, though, they got killed so fast by my Varkais, I didn't even get the chance to see it. And there you go. That's how you farm free XP. Also how you farm, like, $1,700. Thank you. That, why did Vlad just do, like, a giant loop? Do you guys see that? He's like... <laughs> that was just weird. Trait gain. Good attacker. Plus 5 on attacking. And leadership over at plus 20 on attacking. All right. Uh, weapon gained. Melee attack 4. Weapon strength 5. Sounds good. I can now see that Wartbad, surprisingly, has a pretty big army. But as I recall, Telebeckland here has a bigger one. Yeah, I remember this exact scenario. I don't know how I remember that from years ago. When I played this last time, uh, but I do indeed remember that. So next up, move Vlad back into my own territory. We'll heal up next turn. We'll crush the moot and retake it. Now we got to level up Vlad here. And I am thinking the following things. Uh, I really, really want to buff my Varkais as much as possible. Plus two speed for ethereals. Plus four for Grave and Crypt. Wait, wait, flying Horus, here we go. Available after unlocking Magical Animus. Charge bonus plus three for Varkais and Terror Geist. Oh my lord, I want that so badly. But to unlock this, we need another ability point in here. So which one of these three is the least damaging? Uh, maybe attack for Zombies, Skeletons, and Crypt. I guess we have some of them, right? Don't really care about the, the aura, I don't think. Then again, it might make sense to go for the aura, only because I have such a giant spread out group of guys and dogs and bats and stuff. That could help, but I, I just doubt it's ever going to be big enough. So instead, I think we're just going to go for a melee attack for basic units. Great, looks good. Next, we'll take magic animus and then we'll move on. Uh, now, the important thing I need to deal with here is corruption. Let's repair this up. Hundred dollars, great. And this actually has to hit level two. I need to inflict corruption like everywhere, or we're just gonna have endless, 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 endless rebellions. Although endless rebellions seems like kind of an exploit to me. I could just bounce back and forth and farm these things all day. Problem is though that these guys just declared war on me, and I've got to deal with them somehow. So, I think the solution to that is gonna be right here. Let's come in. And can we actually repair these? It's going to be $600. They're just going to attack them again, so I don't really see that that's worth the time. Let's recruit a new lord. Ooh, hold on. <gasps> Isabella? Yes! I don't know anything about Isabella other than she's married to Vlad. So, dark retinue. Melee defense plus 10 for embedded vampire heroes. Ooh, melee attack. That's awesome because I am going to get that, that building. <laughs> That gives me, or do I already have it? Yeah, I already have it here. A Mausoleum of the Mad Count. Uh, so this gives us unlocked hero recruitment vampire plus two for vampires, hero recruitment rank plus three for vampires, hero recruitment cost minus 70% for vampires. Hey guys, why don't we recruit some her heroes, huh? And the heroes will be a vampires. Surprise, surprise. We get vampire shadows or vampires of death. Here's the thing, I'm not quite sure which one I want to go. Um, you know what? V Vampire of Shadows and Death. Don't I have one of each over here with Vlad? Vampire Death, Vampire Shadows. Yeah, all right. I'm going to have to spend a couple seconds here thinking of what I want to do. Uh, which ones I want to recruit and why. And I'll just edit out uh, the thinking part. But also, I really need to worry... I'm going to also look into um, more corruption spreading because... God, we don't have very much. So that may, may factor into having my, uh, my ancillary... Heroes running around spreading spreading vampiric corruption that might make a lot of sense have them come in spread spread corruption Hold down a fort or whatever while my actual leaders move forward and just keep pressing I want to go unbelievably hyper aggressive all campaign. So yeah, let me figure this out All right, I figured it out. I remember now what uh, I used to do here for many years ago And then basically the Bellfire brazier only gives you three vampiric corruption in the region 
But when you upgrade it to the hearth, it gives you four in the region and two in adjacent provinces. And then, of course, if you get all the way to tier four, it gives you six and four. Uh, four in adjacent provinces. That is how I used to expand and control vampiric corruption everywhere. And zooming out here, just enough that we can see the provinces. You can see Western Sylvania is much better to build this in because it borders Ostermark, Sterland, Averland, uh, and also whatever, Zufbar. Is that what that territory is called? I can't really see there. And also Eastern Sylvania. It's better to build it here than to the east. Now, I remember doing this a long time ago, but I just forgot about it. Uh, so because that requires a level three building, or a level 4 building to get to the max, it makes sense to build it in Tempelhof, and this is where I've made a critical error in the past. I'm gonna delete my gibbet or whatever. I'm gonna put in a Balefire Brazier. As soon as that's done, we'll also have the castle uh, the castle upgraded, and we can probably upgrade that directly up to get all kinds of corruption out here to get these provinces under control. So we won't be sitting there fighting rebellions forever. I do feel like fighting rebellions for a little bit is a pretty good thing, but not so much forever. Now. Let's come over here and recruit up some lords, or heroes, rather. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go for one of each vampires. They both have the thing that spreads corruption. I will end up giving uh, some of that to each, so I'm gonna give, wow, $420 and 363 for upkeep. That's a lot of upkeep. Uh, I'm gonna go into the negative theater very quickly, but I don't really care. The Karstein Ring. Vlad has kept his revivication a secret from the general popular. <laughs> Not so much. Not under my command, he has it. Both mortal and living so far, as this serves to further his machinations. Uh, but now it is time to make the midnight aristocracy either quail in fear of domination or flock to his banner. But how best to display such power? Through a bloody massacre or the tempting of dark magic and the promise to share? Well, let me show you true power. Yep, a massive total dark magic of 10,000. Dark magic. So I'm slurring all my words here. Uh, host a masquerade. Total dark magic min minus 5,000. What? I have to get $10,000 and then I give away 5,000? That, that sucks. I guess is what that was telling me. Unless it was telling me something else and I kind of screwed it up, which very likely could be the case. Now, let's recruit a new hero here. Uh, Adolfina von Woldenhoff. God, these names are awesome. Unfortunately, have I run out of money? No, I've hit my recruitment slots. Cannot recruit, you're already feeling the current maximum. Oh, I just assumed I could have recruited more, but yeah, I didn't even look. I have three out of three. Still, that's quite a bit. Uh, knowing that, I'm glad I got the one of death first then. Uh, now, let's take a look here. Can I, do I have another female name on my pre-rolled list of characters? I do not. Uh, unless... <laughs> you dead. Hey, Felipe, how do you feel about being a vampire witch? Actually, she is the one of shadows. I thought I got the one of death. Uh, okay. Anyway, let, let's rename her. I just don't have any female names who came up. Uh, so I, I think all these vampires are going to be female, as far as I can tell. I've got four for four so far. So welcome, Felipe. As I say this, Felipe may die uh, in tomorrow's RimWorld episode, and only I am aware of that. He also died in today's Long War episode, and he's died in last season of Long War and yes. the first season of Long War, or second season, I suppose it was. So, chances of Felipe the Vampire Witch surviving, probably close to zero, I'm gonna say. Uh, let's come in here for probably a little bit of spread corruption, as I was talking about before. Definitely want to do that uh, as much as I can whenever the opportunity presents itself. I am feeling like otherwise, maybe we'll just go for the mystifying miasma once again. Looks good. We'll go a couple... Oh, wait, no. Can I undo one of these points? Apparently not. I, once you click them, you're done with them, and that's that. So, that's fine. We'll just The next point will come into that. Uh, let's group up Felipe here with Isabella. So be it. Or how do I actually do that? Queen. Did, I, did, I, did I not right-click? Uh, we'll deal with it later. Uh, anyway, Isabel, what do you want to raise? The answer is pretty much nothing. You got a couple doofer units, and that's it. Uh, what kind of things now do we have available in the buildings? Pretty much nothing. Do we really have no military buildings? Yeah, we actually have literally none. Okay, well, we'll just raise then. Looks good to me, just, just a super lame army. Uh, and let's get out of here. I think if I move you out... Only a fool would agree. Then we can group up here, and we'll be good. Okay, we can't do that because I just recruited you, so we'll deal with it next turn. 
And that's it for Fort Oberstire. I do feel like it doesn't make a huge amount of sense to upgrade you because I need the money to get my uh, other things upgraded elsewhere. So let's ignore this. I know we have damaged buildings. Does it make sense to repair them? Let's keep going. Yep, the thing wants me really to upgrade a lot of stuff, but no. I say no, and of course there's no one I can trade with. But could I get a could I get a treaty with Zufbar? Actually, believe it or not, kind of. In the not too distant future, it may be possible. What Let's try to work want, towards this. Blood drinker. I'm gonna offer you a payment of a e medium gift is way too much money. I'm just gonna give you a small gift. There you go. Uh, enjoy. Fine. Yeah. Can't imagine you actually rejecting that. Uh, and now we're looking at another plus 10, so we're going up to 39 gradually over time. End the turn! Oh, here we go. Oh, they've got actually two armies! Did not realize they had that many guys. Okay, well, that's fine. I might lose a territory or two, but we don't have much invested on that. We'll retake them and rebuild. Imminent Rebellion in Averland. Yep, follower gained Restless Spirit, plus one public order on Bez, also on Ellist. Why do we keep getting the same thing multiple times? That's a little bit strange. Let's swing down here. I what kind of promotions do we have? Bez, apparently, and Ellis both have a promotion. You know what? I would not mind a- Ooh! But, at the same time, we can now unlock horses. Oh, I can't not do that. I gotta give them the husses, guys. I gotta give them the husses. If they can get husses, they gotta get them. They gotta get them. They're just so much fun. Plus, they can run around to get in uh, range to do spells and such, like, a lot better. The world. Uh, that being the case, it's nearly time for a battle, but first... Ooh, Averland down here is mustering a tiny army. Very tiny. First, I gotta see what I can do with Isabella here. We can only recruit a couple more zombies. What I really want to do is get into Tempelhof because there was a giant battle over here in Fort Oberstire. We can recruit a lot more stuff if we if we group up over there. It is night. I there we go. Now we're grouped up because we actually have action points. Definitely move over to Tempelhof. I know we're gonna lose Eshin. It's fine. Uh, do I actually have to be in this literal region here? I might have to be in that actual settlement. Uh, rather than the whole province, because I can't recruit anything cool right now. Yeah, you have to be in this region's raised Deadpool, Fort Oberstire. All right, well, well, we'll go there next turn, or maybe we'll go there right now on a march. I know the way. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Now I can't race up because I'm on a march, but we have access to Black Knights, Crypt Ghouls, Dire Wolves, Bats. Much better. Much, 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 much better. That's what I'm looking forward to. If I can get a, a trade agreement with Oakenhammer, can I just walk in there and just grab a bunch of stuff? Because that's even bigger. That was a 3,100 size casualty battle. Whereas this one down here was only 2,700. In any event, it's a battle time! A total water, let's war. Very totally. God, this looks like such a stupid battle. Const Underricker? God, we're gonna crush you and we're gonna do it in fun time style. All right, here we go. Same old setup of units from every single direction, and uh, let's a start, and uh, let's a go straight on in. That I, I I did lock these guys. Go 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 go. Let's also get our bats here on five in on their mortars. Looks good. Let's get the hounds in on their pistol leader cav. Fantastic. Let's get all of our commanding generals up. Let's grab. I think this is gonna be. This is this is Bez. Let's have Bez attack Cons under kicker. Fantastic. And then we'll go back to Ellis here and we'll do the funnest time ever with the penundrum pendulum. Oh god, please Bez or Ellis rather. Please Bez. Ellis Ellis Bez everybody. Oh my lord, it looks so cool. I didn't know it was up there doing all that stuff. That's awesome. Uh, meanwhile, my zombies, I forgot all about them. Let's run them in and of course my knights are way out in the back someplace. Did I I didn't even send the Varkais in yet. That's kind of pathetic. We'll send them in on the archers or whatever. Get one of these hounds over here and the other pistol leaders. Uh, they'll eventually get there. Fantastic. You guys get in here in the back or even crush these guys in the back. Either way, I don't really care. All of you lords can really come right in the middle. Looks fine to me. Uh, back to Ellis once again. Let's cast the mystifying Miasma uh, anywhere, really. There looks good. You guys can come over here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what I like to see. Just go straight down, guys. Straight on down. Just crush all of them. What even happened? When I zoom in on these guys, I can't tell what's happening. They just land and everything's dead. Retreat! I love that. I love the old Total War one. They had a really good one. It's like, and now men must be our walls. It was pretty much the best line I've ever heard in any game of my entire life. 
Uh, meanwhile, Vlad, where the heck even are you? Get you... Get everybody, basically, in here. All three of you guys. Get on in. And just crush him. Crush him. Fez, Spirit Leech. Ellis, Miasma, I don't know, anything really. I mean, what even do they have left at this point? Pretty much nothing. These rebellions are kind of jokes, but I do have to make sure that we keep running things down. And we are indeed doing that. My knights are out here running these things down. My hounds here are chasing these guys down. Uh, all of the Barakais, we can make sure they're running out. And pretty much that's it. That was like the easiest battle of all time, huh? Easiest battle of all time. Let's watch these Varakais one last time. Oh my lord. From behind, they're impossible to see what's going on. And from the front, you actually can't even scroll far enough forward to see anything. They're the least cinematic unit. I wonder if the bats are any better, actually. Why haven't we won yet? What 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 is even on the map still? I don't know. Either way, it's gone. Well, that'll learn you guys to rebel. Wasting one minute of my time. What's the actual results here, though, in terms of kills? Pretty good here. Varkais 95, 67, 65. Bats, 50 apiece. Dire Wolves, 70 apiece. My Blood Knights didn't really do much, but I also didn't command them to do anything, because, you know, it took me 20 seconds to start crushing them, and it takes them 20 seconds to get to the battle, so... Not much happened there. We'll just go back to Occupy. Good job, guys. You really... you rebelled so great. King of Darkness. Yes, the King of Darkness, Vlad himself. A magical animus. Augment 18 seconds self plus 16 leadership. All right, let's go for that just so I can get the bonus there in the not-too-distant future. Settlement upgrade available on... Yeah, I don't care about this. Let's cancel all these things. They're not relevant to me. I know what I'm doing here, and it's... Templehof really needs to get upgraded, and all my money basically needs to get saved for that. For... The imminent... Vampiric corruption spread. Uh, damage buildings. I know, there's a million things. Alright, just end the turn. We're good. Ah, Wolfram. Wolfram Hurtwig. Watch out, Wolfram Hurtwig. Underneath that giant doofer hat, we know you're wearing a wig, and we are going to hurt it. Uh, but for now, the day is yours. Thou shalt treat me with the respect I deserve, or die. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna kill you, so it's a bad thing. No peace. Vlad does not make peace. Ooh, they say you revel in victory. They say you spend more time erecting monuments to battles past than managing the realm. They say you are a few, a fool. A fuel! They're fueling my rage, calling me a fool. Recruiting surplus, three turns, recruitment cost minus 25% all forces. I don't actually have any ability to recruit. I can only raise dead. And those are two different things. So we're gonna go for war fervor. Fervor. Confederation, dwarfs, and Zufbar. Really? Well, there goes my plan of making friends with Zufbar. Settlement loss, Eshin. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. Raiding Averheim. Yep, I'm aware of it. Mission aborted to be at war with the following faction, Zufbar. Yeah, well, I guess... I mean, that's what happened there, huh? Uh, let's swing down here. Let's grab Vlad once again. Crush another rebellion. Yep, okay. This one we can automate because it's pretty dumb. Uh, I think I'm just going to let him go. I want the $400. Uh, Averheim, we really need to upgrade you. Ooh, that's $2,000, so I may not even be able to afford that. Uh, before I... Ooh, Arcane Item, Earthing Rod. Ability, minus 100% miscast chance for 40 seconds. Really? That's actually kind of crazy. Hey, wait a minute. Impossible. Is this another rebellion, or did it just run away and I didn't notice? I think it's the same rebellion. All right, yeah, let's crush them again. Give me another $400, I'll let them go again, and I'll keep getting $400. That's how you make the money, guys. You crush rebel- I didn't get another Earthling Rod, did I? I don't know. Uh, in any event, we'll deal with you guys later. For now, we really have to come over here and raise a million things. Alright, I gotta get out of the march mode. What do we want to do here? Black Knights? Sure. Crypt Ghouls? Sure. Hounds? Sure. Bats? Sure. How much money is all of this? Um, it looks like 2,500 total. That's actually not that much. Let's go all- all Skellington Warriors? Sure. This is looking great. Let's do some more. 
Let's do some more. I want to recruit the world. Recruit the world. Guys, look, I just made an army, I guess. Oh, wait, did I not make the army? Oh, bloody hell. Uh, I'd rather have you guys. Raise. There we go. I actually clicked the button this time so that it worked. Now, we're negative $2,000 a turn. That's an issue, uh, but I'm not worried about it. Let's move out here to Isabella. Crush these doofers. Crush them and crush them good. Now, we've got to make money, and Vlad's sitting out here doing nothing. Fieldor. Dorf. Actually has no money. I mean, actually has orcs and no guys. That's what I meant to say. Uh, this looks like a ton of money down here. I want to get down there and crush those guys. Is there going to be another rebellion soon? Negative 19 minus 29 per turn, negative 80 minus 12 per, per turn. Yes, in Averheim, there will soon be another rebellion. This is awesome. I was going to say they're farming money until we can finally get out of here. Uh, do I even need to worry about any of this stuff? No. Let's go into march mode and let's move over here and get prepared to next turn get in there. Whole bunch of promotions. And as I said before, I'm going to go in flying heroes, Vargheis and Terrorgeist. Fantastic. Uh, Bez, let's give you... What was I doing with you? Oh, I've unlocked evasion with you. Interesting. Soul Blight. You know what? The hunger makes a lot of sense. Type regeneration, duration constant, target self. Constantly give yourself hit points. I do love regeneration on everybody, so if we can do that, let's go for it. Same deal here, the hunger. I know I just got the horses, but these are just like basic things I feel like we need on pretty much everybody. Uh, that being said, I think we're done. Let's go check our negotiations. Oh, I'm actually kind of friendly with these dwarfs. Uh, 86 minus 60. Rem total attitude, 26. That's That could be much worse. Past trees with Zufbar, plus two. Gifts given to Zufbar, plus two. These guys kind of like me. Unfortunately, we can't actually trade with them because we don't have a route to their capital, oddly enough. Um, there must be a green... There's capitals like... Hold on, where is their capital? It's like right here, if I remember correctly. In this exact area. So maybe maybe the dwarfs or maybe the greenskins are doing something. Mount Gunbad, Grand Peak. Yeah, they must be in between someplace. Anyway, let me try to Hello make friends you, with these friends. Non-aggression pact. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Very much. Very, very, very much. Should I give you a gift of zero gold? Because that's all I have. Zero gold. I am so poor. It's ridiculous. Um... Well, I'm working on it. I just gotta crush more infidels, that's all. Let's go through everything and the turn. There's gonna be a big battle. Any second now. A very big battle. Ooh, Ostermark's coming down. They are coming down, though. Can they actually reinforce with a march? I think they can. Hmm. I didn't think they could pull that off. Well, this is this does not behoove me to fight. I do want to take a look, though, at what they have. Doesn't. I'm going to retreat, but... Uh, yeah, fighting would not be ideal for me at this moment. So, looks like they have one mortar. They have three close quarters infantry. And then they basically just have a million, million, billion infantry. Like, all spearmen and swordsmen, and that's it. They don't have anything special. Couple crossbows. Just one mortar, which I can crush somehow. You know what? I bet I can actually do this. Uh, not this exact fight, but let's retreat and then we'll fight one of them. Yeah, great. Now, now your doofus is out there. Now you're both marching? No, just one of them's marching. And the other one's going back? Interesting. They're playing actually pretty smart. Alright, we'll deal with that in a second. Oh, here's a giant, like, Arabian army that just crushed... The orcs, okay, didn't anticipate that. I think those guys are the river folk from just through the mountain pass. I can't remember what their faction name was. Alright, Skull Kager's destroyed. We're bankrupt. Yep, I'm not worrying about it. Uh, we got the rituals, vampiric corruption, plus two faction wide. Thank God. Uh, Province Averland's. Imminent Rebellion, that's fine. I'll worry about that next turn. For now, though, can we actually get down here on non-march mode? Oh, yes we can. Yes we can. That's going to be a pretty big fun battle. What can I do up here, though? So they are indeed going to reinforce. Huh. What do I do? What do I do here? I want them to attack me. If they attack Drakenhof together... Or, or Templehof together. Interesting. I can't reinforce both. I can go to one or the other. Alternatively... 
Is it possible to pull someone out of an army once they're, they're joined? I actually can't remember. I thought it wasn't for some reason. Uh, in any event, Let us talk. do I attack them? I don't think so. I think Castle Drakonoff can hold its own. Although, technically, we only have level 2. It's not very strong. Let's fall back here. We're gonna have to get some money because we're super, super, super broke. And that's where Vlad comes in. Vlad, crush the infidels! The will be mine. How many armies do they have here? One, two, ten billion. Who cares? Roll! Alright, and here's the plan for this battle. It's pretty freaking dumb. They got a reinforcements right here, so we immediately start the battle and we crush them. Start battle! Reinforcements! Run! Run! Kill! Maim! Destroy! Get in there, guys! Oh, yep. All of you guys, come on. Get in there. Just get in there and crush these guys. All of you. What is this solo Henry Aldrich? We don't care about him. This is gonna be hilarious. Get in there and crush him. Uh, they've got some more guys coming up from other directions. Let's get up on this hill, though, with the bats and the Varkais. Get a better idea of what's over that hill. Of which I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of stuff. Let's zoom down here briefly and let's actually engage with Vlad momentarily. Oh, yep. <laughs> He's kicking him right in the back. He just stands up and hits Vlad in the face with- Oh, my lord! Ellis and Bess have horses now! I forgot about this! Now that's what I'm talking about! God! Oh, my lord, Vlad! Wow! Bez just rammed that guy into Vlad. That was insanity. All right, well, he's not long for this world. What's up over here? They've got pretty much nothing going on over there that I care about in the slightest. Now, I think they do have some reinforcements down here. Let's get the hounds to go take a peek. All right, we're pretty much fine, though. Let's get the, the whole army up here. Looks good. Uh, make sure they're running, too. Uh, get you guys. Actually, get up there. Fine. Run. Not sure where my... Uh, Blood Knights already. You know what? Let's get them over here. Go for a flank pretty soon. Hounds, where are you guys? All out here. Great. You can probably line up over there. That's fine. And then let's make sure that we're good over here. Are we, are we done with this guy? Yeah, he's pretty much already dead. He's just running away. Finish him up, guys. Finish him up. One more slice and a dice. Bez, Vlad, Ellis, anyone? Oh, there we go. That was actually Ellis. I can tell from the net in her head. Nope, no, 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 no. Vlad, it's all you. Finish him up. Before, I gotta go, I gotta go fight the, 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 he's behind you. I know he's hard to find. He's over there. You got him. You got him. Oh, there we go. Ellis is gonna come up clutch with a stabby stabby to the back. Please do it soon. There's an army to fight, guys. Please. There we go. Please tell me he's dead. He's actually not. Oh, yeah, he is. He is. He is. He is. Okay, let's go. That was a lot of fun watching that, but, uh, what are these guys doing? Like, Honestly, I'm not sure what they're thinking. They, do they have any... They, they didn't they have one mortar unit? I can't remember. They're just... What the hell kind of formation is this? <laughs> this is what I'm fighting against, guys. However, will I defeat these next level strategies? They're incredible. AI and XCOM's almost as good as this. Oh, my lord. All right, here's the plan. Uh, we get basically yes. Ellis and Bez up here, and we cast some pendulums. And that's about it. That's really all we've got to do. We just wait for it. And these guys don't know what to do. They're like lined up in all sorts of directions and angles and stuff. Alright, I'm not sure what Ellis's range is here. We can find out. Wow, it's really that long? Okay. Well, in that case, right there we go. Let's see it. Oh my lord, just kicking, literally kicking guys with the proverbial shadow boot. Just kicking them around the field. Alright, fine by me. We can just sit here all day long and do this. Like, I'm, I'm fine with that. Dense macabre, no, we don't need that. Invocation, we have a lot of things over here I haven't checked out in a while. Magical animus, we don't care about that so much. Negative, yeah, that's all just buffs and debuffs. Uh, we do have the Mystifying Miasma here on Ellis, we can cast that, but that's very short range it looks like, so we actually can't do that. Uh, the Penendulum, however, has the range of champions, so let's do it something like this, and then zoom in here and watch this nonsense. Hey, guys! Wow. What kind of strategy is this? Are they sneaking someone through the forest? Nope, that's not their plan. Okay, well, I guess we'll move up slowly and surely. 
the Varkais on Peter. Get the bats up, Peter. Looks good. Blood Knights, get you up, you guys up as well. And we can just do this uh, very calm, very peaceful. What's the range on Spirit Leech? It is very short, okay? How about Soul Blight? Not that we want to use it. It's actually extremely long. All right. Oh, good to know. Once again, the pendulum threw all the guys. I love, I like the noise, wind up noise. Oh, I kind of miscast that, honestly, but oh my lord. This is what I'm up against. I guess. That make a huge amount of sense to me, but. All right. Oh, their archers want to do something. All right. Well, guess what, guys? We got Varkais and we got bats. Your archers aren't really going to be long for this world, to be entirely honest. I mean, I understand that you wanted to take one shot at us, but it was really the worst thing. The worst thing you could have done. Especially. Oh, look at this. They're just getting molested in the back with bats. They all pull out their swords. They're like, ah, ah. oh no, there's too many bats. We're just little duper archers. This guy tried to kick a bat with his foot, with his actual foot. Oh, here comes the Varkais now as well. Here comes even more Varkais, as if there was even a place for them to fit. And I'm pretty sure that entire, oh, and here comes even more. The triple Varkais wave is ridiculous, okay? And the bats just take off. They're done with this. Yep, they've had their fill. You guys can move move over here, sure. Uh, Varkais, you know what? Actually move up as well. I don't want those pistol leaders shooting you. Like, as much as this is kind of ridiculous. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's get back to more of the penendulums, shall we? This is the place for, oh my lord. Ellis! <laughs> I just, oh, we just slapped one of our own Varkais, but he just stands up like, what the hell was that wind? What's going on here? Uh, Varkais, though, honestly, I did tell you to leave. I would like you to actually leave. So, let's go back up there. Great. Back up here. Great. Uh, it may be time to just go in. Just go in. Let's go for it, guys. Everybody advance. Fantastic. Get you guys in here as well. Hounds, let's get you in for a flanking operation. Blood Knight, same deal. Yep, we're going in. We're going in super hot. Everybody else, run, charge, kill, maim, destroy. Bats? Not you. For some reason, my bats seem to have a mind of their own here. Uh, run away, guys. Run away. We don't need you doing any of the things you think you want to be doing right now. It's just not important. Great. You guys come down here. Let's wait for these guys to all engage exactly the way I want. And meanwhile, Bez, do you have any... No, we, we're completely out of magic, so that's really a non-issue at the moment. Meanwhile, I still have some Varakais over here who are just engaging with people I don't want them to be engaging with. They're a little wounded. That's fine. We can... No, we actually can't cast the Invocation of Nehek on them. That's unfortunate. All right, Hounds, get in on these guys. These pistol leaders in the back. That is perfect. Varakais, fly over the units. Uh, the same deal. Also, bats come in on these guys, and blood knights come in from behind. And we're going to go for some fun time charges here. Meanwhile, do we have even just one mortar pendulum? One mortar pendulum. Nope, not even close. We need 11, and we're up to 6. Uh, what should I use my mana on? I'm not quite sure. I suppose we can soul each over there. Uh, no, we can soul each right there. It makes a lot of sense. Great. Blood knights, just go for it. Get right on in there, friends. You know what? With the Varkites, let's try, try start flanking things from behind. And I want to see these Blood Knights go! Crush! A little bit late there to the action, but it looks like they did exactly what we wanted. All right, Blood Knights, come on back now. And they can come up here and charge into that direction. Oh! But here comes the Varkites second wave! Fantastic, except it's not the most cinematic experience in the universe. All right, Varkites, let's keep going. Uh, other Varkites come over here. Lots and lots and lots of flanks. Blood Knights, get in there. Flank. Flanky McPanky, friends. Flanky McPanky, all of you guys. Hounds, you're doing exactly what we want. Running around, dealing with archers. Actually, they're all broken. Every single one of them is broken. Let's go for more flanks. More flanks. Great. This is what we're talking about. All of the Varakites get in here. Uh, Blood Knights as well. You guys are already in there. They're surrounded. This is pretty much the end of them. All we need to do is hit one unit over here on the right side. You know what? Hounds, right up here. Great. Varakites. You guys fly in that direction, fantastic. All bats, probably same deal. Just land in there and these guys are done. And that's of course get whatever units I have over here are not doing anything up on their lord. And that's about it. That is about it. At this point, we just watch as the legion of bats and Varakais crushes these guys from behind. Wow. They are just getting handled right now. 
Holy mother of heavens. Okay. And a sound victory was had this day. That was a little bit slow, but honestly, it gave me a chance to actually think about what I was doing for once. Vanguardian, I think I got an achievement for, and I don't know what that is. How many guys did we just kill? Like eight bajillion? 2,200 or so, we lost 200 guys. What's the kill count? Ooh, Varkais, 145, 148. Bats, 25, 25. Hounds, 112. They're doing really friggin' good. 72 on the Blood Knights, and even my Skellington's not bad. 56, 33. Oh my lord, though. Ellis, 360 kills with that balance to a pendulum. The Pendulum of Balance. That's what I'm going to start calling that. And if I can remember, I'll call the episode that, too. All right, hopefully this gives us all the money we need to survive one more turn. We got 1,600 loot. Um, almost. We need, like, another $40. Very close. Rank gained. Yep. Uh, oh. Loot and Occupy, $2,000. Or I could sack for $3,700. I'm going to go for Loot and Occupy, because this is actually going to evaporate Averheim from the map. Yep. Oh, wait. Actually, one of them ran away there. Follower gained. Warpstone Hunter. Income from all buildings, 4%. Magic item drop chance, 4%. Mortal Informer. Province secured. Averland. Enemy killed. Knud Kemp. Henry Alderich. I heard, I heard a crow in the background. That wasn't me just being super crazy for no reason. Why are we having issues here? Predicted hit points remaining next turn. Without supplies, starvation, disease will cause your troops to suffer attrition. Is that because the base is, like, destroyed here? Can we fix that up? Or... Gee, that costs a lot of money, surprisingly. Do I even want to grab this, um, thing or to just destroy it? I kind of don't care. The Grave Guards, I do remember actually being pretty strong. But we need an Ancient Armory. Crypt Ghouls, I'm feeling like we probably don't particularly need them. They're, like, really good attackers. But really bad defenders, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that looks about right. All right, let's uh, actually demolish this. I don't want it in the slightest. I do want to upgrade Averheim, but we need the money to sustain our other operations in other places. So. The von Karstein. God, Vlad is just frigging the best. Flying heroes plus six. Next is going to be plus ten. Charge bonus and also melee attack. Awesome, 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 awesome. Vlad, can you get out there and crush this doofus? Nope. But he's going to pretty much that. die. And that's that. We're looking good. The only question is, what happens to Eshin? God. Isabella. I'm really worried. I kind of want to raise up a couple more units here because we're slightly behind. We'll just get every little doofus we can. Oh, right. It's because I was negative money last turn. That's why I'm suffering attrition. I couldn't figure it out there, but now I've figured it out. We have the money. We'll be fine. Everyone will start healing up. Uh, research available. Let's go see what we want to do here. Can we do more of Vampiric Corruption? Vampiric Corruption in adjacent provinces, plus one. Twelve turns, sure. Let's go for it. I, haven't, I literally have not even looked at all of the other technologies, but I just know I want Corruption. Like, it's, it's going to be the key. The key to victory. What's the corruption trending towards here? We got two local populace, two from technologies. Okay, so 50-50. That's better than what it was. Uh, once we get our thing here in Castle Templehof very soon, which, by the way, did we start building it already? Mm, yeah, I have the first one. I need to build the second one, but it's $4,000. We need to get some money very soon to enable that. Uh, and the way we're going to do that is crushing these guys. Unless they come down here and attack Castle Drakenhof. And that would be really interesting. And I I don't know if they can actually reach it. They might have to march or something. I don't know. We'll see. We've got a commandment over here now in Averland. What do we want to do? Probably growth and corruption. Can't imagine doing anything but growth and corruption everywhere or like always and forever. Uh, we'll pass all this stuff. Don't care. Damage building, imminent rebellion, damage buildings, settlement. Yep. End turn. Go. There's another rebellion for Vlad to go crush for our tasty, tasty morsels of delicious monies. Marius Litdorf, please come hand me your gold, friend. I would appreciate it if you would just give me all the golds. How much gold did you carry? Ooh, that's a surprisingly large amount for one little guy and a, and a peasant swordsman helping you out. 
Can you give me even more? Return cap to 140. I feel like I kind of need that, to be honest. Let's go for it. Ah, now we get to see what these guys are up to. They're kind of bouncing around. One of them is coming out here into Drakenhof, but I think they're actually setting up. Wow, they're doing some next level stuff there. Listen to that organ music in the background. That is just so awesome. Rebellion Averlands, Follower Gained, Post Battle, Plus 8, Warp Stone Hunter, yup, 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 Magic Item Chance. Ooh, Trickster's Helm, Armor, Melee Defense, Ward Save, Trait Gained, Vlad, Leadership and Fighting Against Ben. Public Order, Plus 1, because he's strict. Faction Destroyed, Averland, also Karak Kadrin. And Raiding. These guys are raiding me, very fascinating. Moot, Sturdeland, they're raiding me as well, alright. We'll work on all of that. Averheim, Raiding. Okay, I realize that. Lots of raiding going on right now. Of the night. Surprisingly large amount of raiding. Alright, Vlad, let's hit up the march, right? No. Let's get up to here to Averheim. We'll learn these guys a lesson next turn. Or even we can allow them to attack you if we want. We could run out here, maybe. The thing is, I'm just worried that they're going to grow no. to a huge army. I mean, they are kind of also suffering casualties here. But I'm worried that they're going to grow to a huge army and attack Averheim. I am Vlad. I just want to be as close as I possibly can get to getting over here to help out Isabella. Because if they reinforce each other, it's actually really... Oh! Oh! Unfortunately, we can't get in here, but they're split up to the point where they can't reinforce each other. We can get to Eshin right now, and they get one little tiny stack there. And then Draken... Ooh, hello! Apparently, the orcs are here with a full stack army. Okay. I don't know where that came from exactly. Hey, can we make friends with the dwarfs? We are agreeing with them. We're at 28, going up to 38. That's very All good. Here are honored dwarfkin. Yeah, we can't do anything about this. They're just, they're having none of this. Success chance low. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, where am I? I'm super lost here. All right, let's swing back up. We are indeed going to have to do this battle. Isabella von Karstein versus Eschen with no reinforcing, but then there's going to be a huge, I refuse. huge army out here, but just of doofers. Hmm. Okay. Okay, according to this, we're going to lose, but according to me, we're going to win. I suppose we'll see. When's we returning? God, this is a fantastic campaign. I love it. I love just playing hyper-aggressive, go everywhere, crush, kill, destroy, massive battles constantly. And they're actually a lot more theoretically balanced than the uh, battles I was playing with Malekith. Super fun. Super fun. I want to play this right now, but the episode's already nearly an hour, so got to be the next one. Anyway, so as we're returning, this nonsense followed immediately by Isabella getting attacked again. Or are those guys going to attack my uh, Drakenhof? Who knows? Uh, but until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Oh, yep. <laughs> He's kicking him right in the back. He just stands up and hits Vlad in the face with... Oh, my lord! Ellison does have horses now. I forgot about this. Now that's what I'm talking about. God. Oh, my lord, Vlad. Wow! Bez just rammed that guy into Vlad. That was insanity.